Nadav, can you Google uh, Robert Eiler season one Sopranos? You are so funny. You always hate when you were like 12. That's when everybody's fat, though. That's not true because I was the fattest kid in the class. Everybody's fat no, at that's, 12. See, that's after oh, I lost weight. AJ. Can you go? Can you scroll down? See if there's like a real season Anthony one Jr. photo. Anthony Jr. Figured that out two years ago. That That's me right there. Aww. That was me. And by the way, here's the, and that's what bothers me so much. And it gets me so fucking amped up when people go, oh, but you were 12. And that's, that's, that's what happened. Yeah. No one in my class looked like that. <laughs> Nobody. Nobody drank two liters of soda. I would drink two. I would bring a two liter in my room. So and what happened? Was it craft services? Like you? No, you that was before set? Sopranos ever started. So what happened was my, my, I was a skinny kid. My grandmother passed away and then I broke my arm like oh. all at the same time. Like literally at my grandmother's funeral, I was like, oh, mm. like, you know, like in a fucking cast. And it was that summer. It was whenever where it was just like, oh, well, I can't like do anything. Food feels good. Uh. And I just started eating. And then that was my thing. So like I was, you know, 10 years old and uh, for my birthday, I would eat like a whole pizza. Like, you know what I mean? But it was just. It was Feels constant so junk. I also, now I understand that like you should eat protein when you eat carbs and yes. sugar because it helps you digest. And then you understand all this stuff where like I would wake up and eat an Oreo or like <laughs> just oh, eat. It was so just, bad. and it was like Oreo soda. I would never eat like, it, ugh, it's just, it's just fucking disgusting. I ate like a pig. And then I went on the Atkins diet when I was like 13 because I kind of realized I'm like, okay, I want to girls to not be disgusted by me. <laughs> and then like when I when I was on TV, I was like, oh, I think like not only will they not be disgusted by me if I lose weight, but I might even have a chance, you know? Like it might be. And then uh, so I, lo- I went on the Atkins diet for like two months or three months. I lost like 60 pounds. Oh, wow. Yeah. And then everyone's like, oh, you were just a baby. And I'm like, you fucking piece of shit. Uh, like I was like, really I worked so fucking hard like to, to lose that weight and it was so hard. And that's the other thing. It's like, if you look at photos of me and my, you know, uh, first grade class, second grade class, third grade, whatever, like the the fat years were. You're like, oh, look at that fat kid. Mm. It's not like, oh, look at look at these thirty fat kids. <laughs> like, right. like, you know, puberty. what I mean, so everyone's like, oh, everyone's fat, and you're like, no, 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 that's not how that works. Like, maybe when the kids are like three, they have a little chub or whatever. I was like twelve years old, and I was like two hundred pounds. Jesus Christ! Yeah, I got big, fat. and then I lost. I went down to one forty. And that's when I was like, okay, I could start eating again. I would eat Chinese food mm. and just put unlimited packs of soy sauce. Like it would Oof. be swimming in soy sauce, my food. Mm. And I would just with a spoon. <laughs> just fucking wild. Like I was gross. So good. I was gross. Yeah. I was gross. I could be 800 pounds easily. Like oh. when I think about it, like it, I would be so fucking fat if I didn't actively fight this fight, you know? What I'm what I'm grateful for is I that now eating. I do have something in my head that does switch. Like if I go three yeah. or four days where I'm being a slob, I have to like I just went away from my friend's uh wedding and like the day like stuff flying was there and like leading up to it and I was just like there was stuff going on that the day after his wedding, I went for like a five mile run on the beach. And I was like, mm. I'm like when you wake up choking in the middle of the night, you're like, yeah, I'm alive. alive. <laughs> like I was on the beach and I was like, oh so my, I was like, I'm so grateful for life and just to yeah. be alive and to, the, and every, like I was like, it's just so, you, you just know? feel so good because Once you, you don't have it. that, whatever that childhood angst yeah. that like, you know, that from just that, like, ugh. Yeah. Like, you know? That, uh, that feeling. Because well, you can't be, ugh, if you're physically tired, too. Like, when right. you think about getting that anxiety out of your body physically, like, I do, I still do 10,000 steps every day. Like, I'm on the treadmill, I'll watch something, and I'll just do it. And you feel so light physically and emotionally after that, because you, you, you can't be in your head if you've walked it all out. And know? it's like, if I haven't worked out in three days, and, like, Spam is calling my phone. I'm like, who the fuck is this? Yeah. What is this fucking spam call? All Why pissed is it? We're like, if I just finished running six miles and the spam's calling, oh. I'm like, oh, like, hey, so what? Like, I, you yeah. just, you know, it doesn't even register. Like, it's just these, you know, they, they, the guy who, one of the guys who I listen to in meditation is he's like, your, your brain is always looking to hook into yep. something. Bullshit. Yeah. Even if it's fucking just to be angry or if it's to laugh or if it's a bit, like, it's looking to hook into yep. something. And when I, I don't know if it's like after when you're calmer or when you're this, you're aware of it's trying mm. to grab on. So you can kind of be 
you know, just being more aware instead of being lost in the in the thing thing of like, yep. oh, like I'm so, you know, like road rage when you're just like, oh, I'm so mad. But then if you're the passenger, sometimes you're looking at the person doing road rage and you're like, hey, what are you doing? Like, what are you doing? You're taking it out on something so stupid. But to them, they're in that reality of the thing and it's causing, but it's causing my upsetness. Like, mm, not really. You've just chosen to make that the thing that you're upset about right now. Did you like that highlight? I mean, how much fun was that? Why don't you watch a bunch more? We made a bunch more for you to watch. And then why don't you subscribe to my show? Subscribe to where my mom's at. That way, every time I drop an episode, you get you just get it. You don't have to think about it. And then hit the notification bell so you can get notified of all the great stuff that I make. Watch other highlight. Treat yourself. Get your life right.